This is not the video I wanted to record today, but it's the one I'm recording. And I take my oil level quite seriously, as should everybody else. What in the world did somebody do to that poor Tesla up there? That poor car. <laughs> oh, I hope it's a cab company. I really do. I guess it wasn't a cab company and they couldn't be bothered to move over two feet to allow me to go around. Yeah, those definitely look like rain clouds, but when I left my house, the radar was clear north of me. We're sort of in this weird time of year where it gets into the 90s during the day and then the afternoons you get these pop-up thunderstorms. So I am taking advantage of clear weather for now and I'm riding. I'm gonna go up to Harley Davidson and Frederick and see if there's somebody there that can clue me in on the proper way to check the oil. I did let it sit and drain down a little bit, but I'm not sure if I let it drain long enough um, or if I did something else. So I put a half cord in it, which will be good and get me up to the dealer. It does seem to be running better. So I don't know, I'm no mechanic, but we're gonna go up get it straight from the horse's mouth or straight from the pig's mouth in this case it's a hog Hey, look, a palindrome odometer reading, 14141. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> uh, so while we're approaching the dealership, uh, what to do, what to do? We got a mail call we're going to do in a minute. I don't know what's in it yet, but I think I know. So we're going to check that out. And yeah, it's been a week since I hopped on this bike. I did a 200 mile ride and I've done a couple other long rides recently and I am still working on that footage. So there's just a ton of stuff that I'm working on and I work a full-time job. That and I have kids. So I just don't have the time to edit all day long, every day like I want. <laughs> ah, so things are time delayed, but I am slowly catching up. I wonder if they're closed already. I see a couple of, oh, I guess there's a few people out front. Not doing a class today. I don't even know if service is gonna be open, but parts should be open. They'll have the answers to my questions, hopefully. What is up, my friends? I'm here at Harley Davidson of Frederick, and we're gonna do a mail call uh, but I just want to thank the fine folks here for being so friendly to an idiot. That idiot would be me. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit different. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I, uh, I'm very in tune with my vehicles. I can tell you when something's off. I may not know exactly what is off, but I can tell you when something's off. Like on this bike, two, maybe three PSI. I can tell you the tires are too high or too low. Um, it, but I felt something was off, so I checked my oil. It was a little bit low. I had a half quart laying over from before my last oil change. I figured, well, it's time to check it. So I did check it and it was a little bit low. And the nice service guy here came out and checked my oil for me, said, uh, and here's your, here's your tech tip of the day. 
he said, let it drain down five, 10, 15 minutes, whatever, after you get it warmed up and then check it on the side stand or, or upright, it says on the dipstick, but just find a flat piece of asphalt or whatever. And it should be in the checker mark, checkerboard area of the dipstick. And mine was right at the bottom of that. So after I added it and added the oil and drove up here, rode up here, it, uh, it was right in the middle, sweet spots. He was like, yeah, you're on the money. So let's do a mail call and then we're gonna go for a ride. And this comes from Old Man Ronin. If you haven't checked out his channel, do so. Dude is hilarious. I think he's got, yeah, he's got a, like a Road King and he's got a Himalayan and I am just totally loving his Himalayan content. <laughs> uh, he rides off road and stuff and gravel roads and all that. Gets his wife on the back, calls her his old lady, says he has to sleep on the couch. <laughs> like I said, he's pretty funny. So one day I noticed on one of his videos, it said, uh, reach out to me. So I did. And what did I get? An old man Ronin sticker. Haha, <laughs> I love it. Anything else in here? Any money? Ah, cheapskate, no money. But anyway, thank you, old man Ronin, for the sticker. If you, uh, if you haven't, go check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. And uh, if you uh, go over there and you like his content, tell him John at Road Reality sent you. I'm sure he'd love to hear that. Some no-name channel with 550 subs wants to send people his way like he needs it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's a good dude. <laughs> He's pretty funny. So uh, anyway, let's get on the road. Yeah, I'm recording right now. Are you? Yeah, for my YouTube channel. Okay. It's called Road Reality. Ah, she, you guys want to be on it? Yeah, okay. I, I'll edit you out. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Watch up. What's going on, guys? Nice bikes. Hey, nice bikes. Thank you. I like that. Yes, yes, look folks. This is what guys at stoplights do when they're all riding Harleys. They're going to be on YouTube. Look at that. Two cool dudes on their dressers. I love it. That one looks sharp. Reinhardt's. Those are nice. You meet the nicest people on a Harley. I'm going to join their club. <laughs> I told you I'm an idiot. Oh, this just got fun, didn't it? Now, we are currently headed south. So this club trip, it's not a club. It's a riding group. This riding group trip could go all the way to Mexico. Mexico! No, I'm, I, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna go home. <laughs> so I hope you're having a great day. How's your day going? Leave me a comment below. One thing that's made you happy. The highlight of your week, if you will. I think by sharing the good things, we'll all feel a little better knowing there's good stuff happening in the world. So a couple other notes on that oil thing, right? Just because I'm an idiot. Uh, where, what are they doing here? Oh, I've got a light, okay. So a couple of quick notes on the oil thing. Uh, he did say that for 4,000 miles or so, that a half quart low is not bad at all for oil consumption on the Milwaukee 8. I think I read somewhere that one quart per 1,500 miles was considered normal on this engine. And yeah, so it's, all, it's uh, oil cooled. So, you know, or air cooled, half oil cooled, whatever. So it, uh, yeah, it's gonna eat oil a little bit. Uh, I get it, no big deal. But it, it just begs the question, how often do you check the oil on your bike? For me, I check it like every couple of months, I guess. I should be checking it more frequently, probably like once every couple of weeks or once a month at, at a minimum, right? The other thing is tires. Uh, I mentioned that I am in tune with my bike and I can tell when the PSIs are off. Well, that, that stems from when I was a new rider and I took my bike in for service and the guy was like, um, how, uh, how often do you check your tires? And I was like, uh, I don't know, they got air in them, right? And he goes, 23 PSI, you should have 36. How did you not feel it? After that, boom, now I feel it whenever it's low. So on this bike, like I said, two or three PSI, and I checked them before this ride. They were actually right on the, on the money, but I wanted to add one more PSI because that's what I prefer. I don't know what the heck these guys are doing. Maybe they don't actually know each other. Maybe they're not in a riding group. And yeah, I check my tires on my Kawasaki's every ride because 
I can go four or five, six weeks without riding those bikes. But for my uh, for my my Harley here, which I ride like every day, every other day, it had been sitting for a whole week, which explains the rattle and startup. Because that was the other thing I wanted to mention was that the lifters or whatever I forget what he said, but I think he said lifters. They need to fill up with oil because they're hydraulically activated or something. I'm not a mechanic, but they need to they need a few seconds to fill up. And that's why you get kind of a sewing machine sound out of a Milwaukee 8 engine. He just said it's normal. He actually checked over my bike. I was really impressed with this. He walked around it and he didn't want to be on camera, so I don't have him on camera. But he walked around the whole bike and checked it out. And he said, nothing sounds amiss. Uh, I think you're good to go. I was like, awesome. I mean, who expects that? You know, he didn't charge me or anything. He just did it out of the, the kindness of his heart. And we're gonna slot in over here. We're gonna say hi to our, our new friend. Hello, new friend. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. I like your bike. Thank you. Wanna be on YouTube? No, I'm good. Okay, he doesn't wanna be on YouTube. All right, I will blur his face out. Don't worry about that. Oh, don't worry, okay. Hey, have a good day. Hey, I got my new buddy and his wife on the on their bike behind me. That's cool. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, can you see? There's a red uh, Road King back there. It's an 05. More people that don't want to be on YouTube. I don't get it. I love being on YouTube, obviously. That's why I post all these videos. But yeah, I was really super impressed with uh, with the service guy up there at Harley Davidson and Frederick. So. I wanted to give them a shout out for checking my oil for me because <laughs> I'm a complete idiot apparently and need help checking my oil. <laughs> oh God, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a like and uh, you can comment below how big of an idiot you really think I am. <laughs> I'm good at keeping them shiny, folks, not keeping them running. That is not my job. <laughs> my job is to keep this bike upright and shiny. And yes, I just did a hand gesture. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, construction. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh good, good gracious. This is funny, too funny. So it wasn't the video I was gonna film today, but I found myself up here and I needed oil, so I was like, well, this could be interesting. Little did I know how interesting it would get. Ah, uh, this is great. I love motorcycles. I hope you, if you love motorcycles, hit like. And if you don't love motorcycles, well, you're wrong, okay? Enough, enough pussyfooting around it. Motorcycles are awesome. Everybody should have like four of them. <laughs> hey, you know what? Before I fall off this bike laughing so hard, I'm gonna let you go. Have a great day. Hit the like, subscribe, bell, comment, all that YouTube stuff. I appreciate it. And you'll see me in the next video. <laughs> Bye for now. Stay safe. All right, rocking out, huh? We saw you. We saw you dancing. I, I dance all the time. My wife was following me in her car one time. She's like, "You're an asshole. Do you do that on the regular?" Yep. I wasn't playing it up for you. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Potato, potato. Is that, that's a 103 or a 96? Uh, no, this is an 88. 88, wow. Gotta get you one that says 114 on the yeah. side. <laughs> you see, right? <laughs>